Hi, it's Lori Niles from Violinist.com, and I'm here at Metzler Violin Shop in Glendale, California. And I just listened to 35 modern violins, modern American violins, um, and also 12 bows. And, um, you know, they were all really good. This is amazing what you can get in a modern American violin. Um, and then, you know, there was, there was one that I really particularly liked, and there's um, like a few that I liked, but the one that sort of came to the top for me, and it's just based on my personality, okay? So this is just me, because uh, people are in all these other rooms trying other violins that they love. Um, but this one, it is made by Bob Spetz of Salt Lake City. It's a 2021 violin. And um, to me, the reason why I liked it is when I heard Christian play it, um, to me it sounded super articulate. Um, like every note kind of sounded like a separate note to me. It had a really beautiful voice. Um, and so, um, so I'm here to just sort of demonstrate it for you. Um, it's also interesting, it's got a different fingerboard. I don't know if you can see that it's like a different color and it's made out of a different kind of wood that I'll write down. Oh uh, wait, Julia Metzler's here. What kind of wood is it? I think it's Tetool, we can confirm that. <laughs> Tetool, okay. So anyway, um, so here is a little bit, I'm just gonna play some soft, easy stuff. Um, I'll start, I'll start with a little like, um, Wieniawski second movement. Easy, no. Um. <laughs> some little like stuff that's not even as uh, music or whatever just to, so you can hear this articulate kind of hear that trill this. Um, I'm trying to think of something else. Oh, I'll give you a little tiny bit of the beginning of the Accolade Concerto so you can hear um, the E string a little bit. Um. <laughs> liked, um, I have to look at this list here, was a Brazilian violin, uh, and maybe I'll play a little bit of it for you in a minute, but um, it was by Fernando Fagundas of Sao Paulo, Brazil, and this was a 2023 uh, violin. Uh, by the way, so this violin that I just played, this uh, violin by Mr. Spetz, is pretty reasonably priced if you ask me. It's um, uh, $9,500. So that's pretty good for a, a bench made violin. Um, you know, these violins, they ranged everywhere from, let me see, the, I think the highest one was $44,000. So, you know, that was the high end. So um, this is a really reasonably priced one. So there you go. 